homemade fog machine. It's just starting to warm up here, and so it's starting to kick some stuff out as the heat exchanger warms up. Um, you can kind of see what that is like. This is without the pump running, so it's this is not the maximum output. Um, let that warm up for a minute. I got propylene glycol. It's got an inhibitor, hence the pink color, and some distilled water added to that to thin it out. Here's the control box. Red switch is for heat. This one's for constant run of the pump or timed control. I haven't got that built yet, but that's going to go right here. A little dial there, a little potentiometer to adjust the time duration, the time interval. I'm going to hit it and see what we get. So, I mean, we got a beautiful cloud. It's starting to kick out now. And it's a it's windy here right now, so you can see it drifting and stuff, but well, that's it's got dual heat exchangers. If you look up close there you can see the two out ports. But uh, the wind takes it away pretty fast, but if this was indoors, the building would be full already. It's high output. So there you go. But yeah, if it's if the air is a little stiller, and even if it's not, it makes quite a cool out cloud and quite a mess. So, yeah, there you go. That's it. High output, higher output than the other store-bought deals. Unless you want to spend a couple grand.